Okay, greetings and welcome to this short video on how to upload, install and activate the uh, local biz vortex uh, theme. And um, <coughs> just getting straight into it, uh, I'm already in a um, brand new installation here of uh, WordPress. It's just a, a plain vanilla raw uh, site and if you go to the front end you'll see what I mean. It's just got the standard 2010-2011 theme in there. So. Um, nothing at all has been done to this uh, to this installation so we go back to okay the dashboard what we're going to do is go to uh, appearance themes and um, it'll bring an, up the theme library manage themes install themes we want to install a new theme the lo local biz vortex theme and uh, here we just click on the upload uh, link And it asks us to browse to where the theme is, and there it is. Okay, so you you will have downloaded that and downloaded it to your desktop or wherever you want to keep uh, your theme stored. <coughs> and we're just going to hit the install now. Now this is a fairly large theme file. It is over one uh, megabyte in in uh, size. So <coughs> it's going to take uh, maybe 30 seconds to. Uh, to install and you can see down here on the left it says sending request to localbizvortex.com it'll be going a little bit slow because we're uh, we're recording um, but uh, normally it's about 30 seconds to uh, upload and install the new theme okay so that's done and it's pretty much about 30 seconds so what we're going to do is we're just going to activate okay so we'll activate the theme <coughs> And there it is, Local Biz uh, Vortex version 2.0.6, which is the latest uh, version as of the date of this uh, video being recorded, uh, August 6th, 2012. Okay, so what we do is um, you can just via this link here go straight to the control panel, but you'll notice on the left here there is a, a link here for the control panel. So either one will take you to the same place. What it's going to do is going to ask you for your email address and your activation key. Um, now, <clears throat> the important thing to remember here is there's only one activation key that you can use, and that's the one that was sent to you uh, via email when you um, when you purchased. And the email address, whatever email you put in here, and you can put in any email. But then, ev thereafter, um, every time you come to activate a new instance of uh, local Biz vortex, you've got to use the same email. So just remember which email address you're using. Okay, so I'm going to whack in uh, the email that we use here. Okay, and I'm going to put in the um, activation key, which is that one there. Okay, and I'm going to activate. And if everything has gone right, that will tell me, yep, it was as quick as that. It took about two or three seconds, and the, um, the control panel showed up. So uh, I'll just uh, show you one more neat thing that you can do here to get started, and I, I really recommend this with every site that you uh, that you uh, set up uh, to use the one-click uh, base site installer. Um, unless, of course, you're installing a clone site or one of our sites from the Niche Vault uh, Vortex library, because uh, that already has the <coughs> everything all set up. But in this case. Um, although we've installed the theme, if I go back to the front end, you'll see nothing has changed. We're, we're still on a plane. Of course, because we're using a local biz vortex, <coughs> it's changed a little bit in appearance, but it's basically just saying, well, hey, you know, there's nothing here. I haven't been populated with any styling or anything at all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the right hand side here and where it's a simple setup. We just click on that and uh, you have got the option here to uh, either select or deselect these. Well, we want to create a header navigation bar. Yep, a menu bar. We want to create a home page, about page, FAQ, or articles. If I didn't want any of those pages, I wouldn't click on them. I wouldn't select them. <coughs> and uh, create pages and add them to the footer. You now, the privacy, the terms page, legal page, disclaimer, they're all fully populated uh, with generic uh, legal and, uh, and uh, footer um, terms. Their content and so forth. So we're going to 
basically leave that at the defaulted setting and, and just leave everything checked and we're going to proceed. But you do have a choice there of what you want to include and what you don't want to include. So that's that's disappeared and that indicates that, hey, the job's been done. If we go back to the, um, the front end and I refresh this here, you will see as quick as a flash, we have now got a website. Okay, and everything uh, here is uh, there that you would need for um, editing. You know, we've got uh, we've got the H card already populated for us, and we've got the the Find Us page, which is the um, you know with the map and, and so forth. Okay, that's all there. And if I click on Disclaimer, we've got the Disclaimer page fully populated. Okay, so it hasn't got the name of your website. It's just got generic terms like disclaimer for our website. And uh, this has been done by um, Scott uh, Talbot, my uh, friend from the United States, who has allowed us to use this in, in uh, Local Biz Vortex. And um, it's been masterfully done. And you can pretty much rest assured that uh, whatever you, um, you know, uh, put in those pages or if you just go you know, straight to uh, publication with them, that uh, you're fine. You can edit them, of course, if you want to, but you really don't need to. Okay, so everything is there that we need to, to, to have uh, there. From there, just to uh, put it into perspective for you, what you can do is if you go into the back end now, we go into header, and you'll see it's been populated with what we saw at the very uh, top uh, thin banner there as, uh, is in here, and you can uh, edit that if you want to. The main text for the header, local biz vortex base master site, you can now change that for whatever you want to change it to, and it just goes on like that throughout the, um, you know, throughout the the actual uh, the rest of the uh, site. Okay, um, I'll come back on some of these other things in another video, but uh, <clears throat> so the text for the arrow at the right, it just says your attention getting called to action text here, or whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. Uh, quote rotator, you can quote rotator. You can change the quotes and put whatever quotes you want to have in there. Or if you don't want to have quotes in there, you can have whatever rotating text or information you want to have in there. Your footer uh, details. Uh, of course, right now it says base master websites, but uh, you're going to change that. You're going to change the uh, detail on the H card as well. At the moment it just says base master websites. So that's pretty much it, it folks. That's uh, simply how you would upload, um, install and activate uh, the Local Biz Vortex theme and then how you can instantly in seconds create a base master site and then it's up to you how you go about editing that um, in whatever manner you would wish to do so. So thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you found it enjoyable. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye now.